Hello, y'all. Welcome back. I had a question about some helical and volume scans. So let's start off with the basics. Chest. Um, once you start off, you have three parameters that comes up, right? So the first one, it says dual scano. That means you're going to get a scout, which is just a view of what you're scanning. So like if you're just scanning a chest, it's just going to show an AP view of the chest. And then the second one is your lateral view. And this P stands for pause or push. I'm not sure, but it just means, so see, this says AP, above shoulders to below liver. And you're just going to set your um, lights to above the shoulder and then it'll scan the patient and of course the patient up here there's a diagram the patient's gonna come out so you're gonna set your light up above the shoulders the patient's gonna be inside the lights gonna be here and the patient's coming out and if the patient is head first you can just change it right there and it'll go in so just make sure you're going to the right direction the second one is your lateral scan Oh, going back to the P. Oh, it means pause. So P means pause. That means you're actually gonna press your start button right here. It's gonna turn green light up for you to press go. And the A means automatic. So right after this AP scan, it's gonna automatically go to your lateral scan without you having to press this again. But if the patient starts moving and you need it to stop, then you could press this and it'll terminate it or if the scan didn't start yet and you need to tell something to the patient you could just press this speaker button and it'll pause the machine there will be no x-rays going but it has to be right before it scans i don't, I don't know that it applies to scouts Maybe yeah does it yeah and then so that's that so this so it'll be green and stuff okay so your next one is your helical. So it'll pause so you could set up where you need to set up with your scalp. And then it's a helical scan. So that's gonna, a spiral scan. It'll just continuously slowly go in with the pitch. Just go in, let's see, scan details. So um, the total scan time would be 3.9 seconds for that field of view. And if you change any of this, let's say like a volume, see how volume is much faster for even that same amount of space? Because it's one quick scan. And it's um, depending on the detector and slices that you have. Um, Most chess you won't do volume though. Huh? Most chests you won't do volume. Yeah, you won't do a volume here. You'll do smaller anatomy. You do 16 centimeters. What? It only has a max of 16 centimeters of coverage. Oh, so each volume, it'll, because this is a 320 slice. So one volume will only cover 16 centimeters of anatomy. So usually like a foot, a wrist, a hand, or a baby's head. But uh, you can, But this, this wide volume, uh-huh if you turn it to on then you can do multiple multiple volumes yeah like your femur or your spine but it's not really that good you only use that if like you need to use a CMAR version when you have a prosthetic or something that no, um, a metal no. prosthetic because a metal will will cause a lot of artifacts um, okay, so I hope that's understandable. So just know that volume is a smaller, faster um, scan. Oh, see, even with a wide volume, that's three seconds. So that's even fast. That's still faster than a, a helical. So 5.3, what's well, a 5.3? Oh, because it just got something. Okay. Um, so helical is a helical, it's a spiral, and then a GG helical means go go gg stands for go go helical meaning you can add on to this so it'll just add two scans to this instead of that one helical so if you have to like divide something like a different timing of like the chest and then add a pelvis or something rather 
it'll let you do that. GR, so just look at the star position is zero and then negative 175. If you go to GR, it means, we're assuming that it means go reverse. So it's gonna start from zero and go to this number and then it goes from that, from that bottom part, starts there and it scans at the same spot instead of going up and then down. And that pretty much sums up this portion. So, oh, so we covered helical, which is a spiral. Go, go, meaning it just goes from, ah, it starts off and ends at the same number. And go reverse means it starts off one way, ends one way, and it starts at the ending and goes back to the beginning. And then the volume is the 14 centimeters for a 320 slice scanner, a 16 centimeters each volume. But you only use that again for like so if you're scanning a head scan and they're moving a lot and you just want one quick scan. Or they have aneurysm clip. Or aneurysm clip because again the clip has okay. metal artifacts. Okay, so let's go to now we're gonna go in depth with like a PE study so same thing um, dual scan all the AP and the lateral you start it with this button and then it automatically goes to your next one and then it's gonna stop and it's gonna make you get an SNV an SNV is a scan in view so like for a PE study you need to know where your carina is and that's your reference point of where you need to trigger your contrast in the pulmonary and so then it pauses and then it comes up this scan will come up see trigger in pulmonary 180 Hounsfield units or there one center is below carina okay so then the scan view will pop up and you put your ROI um, where your pulmonary is and then this is kind of like a floral view you can see a live like every second I don't know uh, it depends how it's set up scan detail every so this one it'll trigger for 30 seconds if it doesn't pop up okay, then it'll every, stop every other second or one. yeah second. it'll just come up and then you'll just watch your bolus come through and you track it and then once it hits then it'll auto either automatically go or you can manually go and you can adjust that it, it's automatic though once you put it on and then it becomes your helical so it'll scan once it triggers um so i don't know what s and s stands for the s and v i just explained scan and view helical is a spiral gg is a go go gr is a go reverse volume is the volume. I don't know what dy volume is. Yeah, dy. I don't know what that is. Let's hit it and see. Dynamic volume. Which means uh, it says intermediate. I think they only use it for, for lungs, if I remember right. But I can't remember. I'm not sure. Oh, okay. So this one says wide volume, and yeah. then once you hit this, it's intermittent. But, all right, I'm out of breath. I'm wearing a mask and that's all I got for you. So hopefully it explains something, it's clarified something, because I learned something. I learned about this pause. What was it, pause and automatic? That was cool. Start, pause, auto. And the GR, I didn't know about the GR. That's cool. Oh. And if something happens, like let's say this is helical again, you can like, if you add too much, you can just delete it from here or new scan or copy whatever you need. And if you do do it, it'll, the same parameters will like pop up. Like it'll keep your scan detail, your recon details and stuff and you'll just be able to change it there. And yeah, that's all I got for you. Okay, toodles, noodles.